Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. Today we've got a teaser trailer for the brand new Rainbow Six Siege operator called Osa. So let's watch the trailer and then we'll break it all down. My work keeps us one step ahead. The best that money can buy. Our agents may have their skill sets, but my designs, they give us the edge in the field so that we can hit hard and come back safe. <laughs> Not a scratch. So there we go guys, this is Osa, our brand new attacking operator. She has, obviously, a big deployable shield that appears to be to fit into Windows Bulletproof and let's run through what we actually see in this trailer. First up, we've got this robot and I've got no idea what this robot kind of signifies as it moves around, but she is working on her shield. She also says that she designed the shields and other designs. She's got the Night Haven logo on her shoulder, so she might actually be the kind of opposite of Mira. Mira is the R&D for Rainbow Six. So is this girl here R&D for Night Haven, perhaps? On first watch as well, I also thought that she was in Mira's R&D facility because of the concrete and all that. However, behind her, there's a lot of neon lights with the purple and blue and it doesn't look anything like it. So I do wonder if this is her own facility or Night Haven's facility perhaps. But anyway, moving on, let's run through the basics. So she grabs the shield by two handles on either side. I'm kind of hoping we don't obviously have a clash here. That would be very bad. And she picks it up. There is a poster in the background as well that I, I'm assuming is in a fictional movie. It says Empress on the something in the something. But I think it's fictional. Could be real though, so it may play a part in some of her backstory. Then we've got the actual shield getting lifted up and placed into a window. You can see the remnants of the wooden barricade still there. So yeah, this definitely fits into windows. It then kind of spreads out very, very much like a deployable shield, although a deployable shield is vertical, but this definitely seems to kind of have a similar look to it. And that's the crazy thing because this looks like a defender gadget, something you'd put up in the objective site, something to like protect windows, but she is an attacker. So that is going to be interesting because I think what she brings to the game by the looks of it is a defender gadget, but an attack. So is she going to bring kind of defender style gameplay to the attackers? Is she going to push in, slap this thing down and actually fortify a location? which would be interesting for an attackers for sure. You'll also notice there's clearly a gap at the top of the window and considering she's an attacker, I'm assuming that means she can repel and actually look in and shoot in above that as well. And then we get to see what it's capable of resisting. So a fully automatic gun shoots at it and we can see that it's able to tank that damage. So it does appear to be bullet resistant. I've always made a joke that Blackbeard's shield and Mira's window like constantly getting weaker. Like now you can smash the Mira's window and you know Blackbeard constantly getting nerfed. That, it, that someone's been stealing all the bulletproof glass. And now I think we have the potential culprit. Maybe she's been redirecting all that bulletproof glass to herself for this gadget. Now the next shot is very interesting. We get to see the shield from the robot's point of view. And it looks as if the glass has cracked or smashed with the bullet rounds so i wonder if it is potentially able to be shot enough that it can break you'll also notice there's a red thing there that usually when i think red in computer games you shoot it so i'm wondering what that might mean and you can see the anchor points of how this physically like locks onto the window and i would assume other things as well like doors or just basically a flat piece of ground and then also gives us a cheeky smile at the end and I cannot think of anything other than that just being a very Karen haircut, like she wants to talk to the manager. It's a hundred percent that. Um, but yeah, then we get the confirmation that Osa is on attack. Of course, a lot of leaks said this operator was going to be on defense. I can understand why with the gadget. But then we get the full reveal is coming August sixteenth, which is a Monday. And that is this Monday coming. So we're going to see this operator shown off on Monday, which is interesting. It's not in line with the Pro League Finals, which is on the 22nd. It's actually at the very start of it. I don't know if there's any schedule yet for times, but 
Yeah, it's going to be revealed on Monday. And of course, me and many other content creators have been playing this new season since Tuesday. So we've actually jumped in and had a good bit of fun with her. And I'm actually making this video the day before this teaser trailer actually comes out because I will be away when this teaser trailer drops. So I'm so freaking happy I was actually able to cover it. You know, big thanks that we were actually able to get this early to check it out. So very cool. And I'm interested to see what you guys are going to think about this up here. I'll check your comments in the evening when I get back. But let's just recap what we know officially so far about this season. So first of all, Osa is Croatian. We're going to have an Irish operator next season. So Croatian operator this season. The season is called Crystal Guard. We know that we're getting three reworks, although they're they're smaller in size. So we're going to get Coastline, Bank and Clubhouse. With Clubhouse being the smaller rework, Bank being the bigger one. And uh, I think the Coastline one kind of being in between. But that's all that's been revealed so far. I can definitely say there's going to be some juicy changes with the season that are going to be controversial. There's also going to be some very good changes as well. So I'm looking forward to see what everyone thinks of the full reveal on the 16th. Anyway guys, let me know what you think of Osa so far and I'll catch you next time.